Erickson's Psychosocial Theory Eric Erickson's psychosocial theory is a well-known model of human development, which proposes that we go through eight stages from infancy to adulthood. Each stage involves a psychological conflict that shapes who we are. The way we resolve these conflicts has a major impact on our personality and how we view the world. What sets Erickson's theory apart is its focus on social interaction and how our relationships with others shape our sense of self. Erickson believed that personality develops in a series of stages, each centered around a specific conflict or crisis that needs to be resolved. Unlike other theories that focus on early childhood, Erickson's theory spans our entire life, from birth to old age. The success or failure in dealing with each stage affects our development and can either lead to a healthy, well-adjusted individual or someone with challenges in their sense of identity. The first stage is trust versus mistrust, which occurs in infancy, from birth to about 18 months. During this time, babies rely entirely on caregivers for everything, including food, comfort, and warmth. If their needs are consistently met, they develop a sense of trust in the world and feel secure. If not, they may develop mistrust and insecurity. This stage is all about whether or not we can trust the people around us to care for us and meet our basic needs. The second stage is autonomy versus shame and doubt, which occurs during early childhood, around two to three years. At this age, Children start to assert independence, learning to do things for themselves, like walking, talking, and toilet training. If encouraged and supported, children develop a sense of autonomy and confidence. If they're overly controlled or criticized, they may feel shame and doubt in their abilities. This stage is all about balancing independence with the need for support. The third stage, initiative versus guilt, happens during the preschool years, ages 3 to 5. Children in this stage start to take more initiative, trying new things and asserting more control over their world through play and social interactions. Successful resolution of this stage leads to a sense of initiative and leadership. If children are discouraged or punished for their efforts, they may feel guilty and become more hesitant to try new things. In the next stage, industry versus inferiority, which occurs during the school years, ages 6 to 11, children begin to compare themselves to their peers. They start to develop a sense of pride in their accomplishments and skills. If they succeed in school and social interactions, they feel competent and industrious. If they struggle and feel like they don't measure up to others, they may develop a sense of inferiority. The fifth stage, identity versus role confusion, occurs during adolescence, ages 12 to 18. This is one of the most important stages in Erickson's theory, as it's when individuals begin to explore their sense of self and their role in the world. Adolescents experiment with different roles, beliefs, and goals, trying to figure out who they are. If they are able to develop a strong sense of identity, they emerge from this stage with confidence. If they struggle to figure out their place in the world, they may experience role confusion and an unstable sense of self. Next is the intimacy versus isolation stage, which occurs in young adulthood, ages 19 to 40. This stage is focused on forming deep, meaningful relationships with others, including friendships and romantic partnerships. Success in this stage means being able to form close, intimate bonds with others. Failure can lead to feelings of isolation and loneliness. In the seventh stage, generativity versus stagnation, which occurs in middle adulthood, ages 40 to 65, individuals focus on contributing to the world through work, community involvement, and raising children. 
Those who feel like they are making a difference and leaving a legacy experience a sense of generativity. Those who feel disconnected from the community or unproductive may experience stagnation, feeling unfulfilled in life. The final stage is integrity versus despair, which occurs in old age, ages 65 and up. During this stage, individuals reflect on their life and either feel a sense of fulfillment and integrity or regret and despair. Those who feel they've led a meaningful life feel proud and ready to face the end of life with peace. Those who feel like they missed out on opportunities or made poor choices may experience despair. What makes Erickson's theory unique is that it doesn't just focus on childhood but rather emphasizes that growth and development continue throughout life. Each stage builds on the previous one, and how we resolve earlier conflicts influences how we handle later challenges. For example, someone who develops trust in the first stage will likely have an easier time forming close relationships in adulthood. Erickson also believed that while each stage has a specific time in life, the challenges of earlier stages can reappear later. For example, someone who struggled with trust as a child may experience issues with trust in their adult relationships. This idea highlights the ongoing nature of personal development. Erickson's psychosocial theory has been influential because it provides a broad, social perspective on development, emphasizing the importance of relationships and societal influences on personal growth. It's a flexible model that acknowledges the complexity of human development across the lifespan. In simpler terms, Erickson's theory teaches us that life is a series of challenges, and how we handle these challenges shapes who we are. Whether we develop trust, confidence, and meaningful relationships, or struggle with feelings of doubt and isolation, depends largely on how we deal with the key conflicts at each stage of life. In conclusion, Erickson's psychosocial theory offers a comprehensive look at how our interactions with others and the world shape our sense of self and overall well-being. It helps us understand that human development is a lifelong process, with each stage bringing new challenges and opportunities for growth.